Hi everyone, we'll be presenting our work investigating saturation effects in integrated gradients. Integrated gradients, or IG, is a popular method for feature attribution, which assigns importance to each input feature. For example, this figure shows the contribution of each pixel in this input image to a classifier's prediction of a harvester. The way that integrated gradients assigns these scores is by taking the input image as well as a baseline or reference image. For each point along the path between these two images, the gradients are computed and integrating these results in IG. The model output along the path from baseline to input are shown in the figure below. In our work, we're interested in understanding the relative contribution of different parts of the integral, particularly comparing the contribution of this region, where the output changes substantially, to this region, where the output is mostly constant. In order to do this, we define split IG, which divides the integral into two parts, choosing a cutoff where the output is close to the final output. The left integral covers the substantial change in output, while the right integral covers the saturated area, where model output doesn't change substantially. Since we're simply splitting the integral into two, summing left IG and right IG gives the original integrated gradients. To compare the contributions of these two integrals, we look at the ratio of the L2 norms of these two parts of IG, averaged over 2,500 ImageNet evaluation samples. We find that surprisingly, right IG can have a substantially larger magnitude, despite not covering a significant change in output. The next question we explore is whether only considering left IG, where the output changes substantially, results in better attribution results. We investigate this qualitatively and quantitatively on ImageNet classification models and find that left IG is less sensitive to input perturbations and more faithful to the model based on ablation experiments, suggesting that the attributions are improved. In summary, users of integrated gradients should be aware that saturated regions, where model output changes minimally, can contribute significantly to overall integrated gradients. Splitting the integral into parts and looking into regions where model output changes can provide improved attribution results. Thank you.